just when the boss of the multiple award-winning film October 1 by Kunle Afolayi is about to simmer down, the dexterous director come actor has revealed another ace up his sleeves. Action! He has assembled a Pan-African cast including two-time Grammy award-winning singer Angelique Kijo for his new film, The CEO. I was blown away. All the actors were blown away. Um, she, she, she's not on this set because she's Angelique Kijo, the musician. She's on this set because I met with her and I saw this huge potential and I saw that it is something she could do. And she came and, you know, um, you know in acting, it is, it is when, when, you are, uh, when you have another you know, actor who is playing alongside you and the actor is not giving you the right feed, it affects your performance. In almost all of our scenes, she was playing with five other actors and, you know, she gave them the right push, the right element, the right, you know, she, she, was, she was phenomenal. And mark today's date, I believe she's going to get an award for that, for her role in the CEO. Then it goes to the water. Okay, cool. It looks straight. One, two, straight. Okay. And it stays straight. I hope to get every African region, you know, um, to believe in the fact that uh, we can be making our own film, you know, for the rest of the world. And this time it won't be seen as a Gollywood or a Nollywood or a Carnywood or a South African film or a Kenyan film. I just want us to believe it's an African film made for the world, you know, um, which is what informed the caliber of actors that we have, which is what informed the kind of story that we're telling. Um, you know, it's, it's beyond, this film is beyond entertainment, you know, when, when it's ready, um, not until the end. I mean, just like any of my film, if you watch it just from on the surface, you think, okay, it's another entertainment film from, but when you really, really look and think deep, you realize there's a, you know, very strong message, you know, in the film. Entertainment News on Channel's television visited the set of the movie, which also stars acclaimed Kenyan actor Peter King. King, who had been on many international productions, including in Germany, Belgium, and America reveals he has been longing to get on a Nollywood film because of its popularity in Kenya. Kunle is arguably the best African director I've worked with. And he's at par with any other director around the world. And I've, I've, I've worked with the likes of Fernando Mireles, uh, Bill Condon of Dreamgirls, and uh, the German director, what's his name, Tong Pikba, I can tell you, Kunle is at par with any of those directors. We need to start appreciating our own. From King, we found the set makeup artist, Lola Maja, where she was busy recreating the facial impression on one of the cast. My lines. My lines, all right, so um, how much um, makeup um, are you doing on this particular set for the, for the actors? How much do you need to alter oh, how they look? We're doing a lot of work on this set. I mean, it's a lot of the things that you might not notice which actually take the most time because we've got some amazing actors, but for some of them we have to age them, make them look a little bit more serious and worthy of being put forward for a CEO position. You know, they're not going to take some young people um, to be in this position. They need to be in their late 40s, early 50s. And then with the other actors, like, somebody like Angelique Kujo, who is an amazing icon. She looks young for her age. So we're having to make her actually look a little bit more her age as well through makeup and hair. But if you notice it, then I did a bad job. <laughs> Wale Ojo, who plays another lead character in the film, turns 51 right there on set. He said it's a good place to celebrate the turn of a new year. I think for me, I, I, I love what I do. I love acting. And uh, the best birthday present for me is if I'm working, actually. So I'm happy that I'm working on my 51st birthday. He first worked with Afalayan about three years ago on the movie Phone Swap. Nobody should stay back here. And 
Action! Um, you know, with, with, with Fun Swap, it was the first time working with Kunle, and, um, and the character was a very serious character, you know. And I had just come off doing a comedy series, uh, Meet the Adebanjos. So to do that switch was difficult for me, because I'd been doing Adebanjos for quite a while. And uh, so, but I, I was able to get into it, and, uh, and thank God, you know, the film was a success. Now, second time around doing this film, it's a completely different kind of film. It's a completely different kind of character. You know, I play the character of Kola Alabi, marketing director of a huge telecommunications company. Totally different from the character in front, so almost the opposite. You know, happy, go lucky, you know, womanizer, you know, and uh, like, you know, like a Lagos big boy. So, um, uh, and that's a challenge, you know, and it's also a challenge to be able to make sure that the character is represented well within the script. It's a great script that Tunde Babalala has written. 86 states to 1892. From the grapevines, we gather that this film has a budget in excess of 200 million naira. Afalaya has been able to only access about a quarter of what he needs from the Nollywood Fund, provided by an investment bank in Nigeria. The nefarious activities of bootleggers is proving a concern for investors in the film industry. Well, we, we are a lender, and when we lend, we hope that we can recover the money eventually. Uh, but we also know that in lending, uh, sometimes things don't work out you know, we, we just want to take steps to ensure that those instances where things don't work out are very minimal. And so far, we've been able to put, you know, such instances under control. We are very optimistic that the rate of default, you know, will be managed, you know, to a minimal level. So that's why it sometimes it appears that it takes a little bit of time. But once those structures are put in place, we have reasonable assurance that the loans will be repaid. The CEO chronicles the chain of events during a high-level recruitment process at a telecommunication company, which eventually spawned a web of mysteries.